Today I went into my camera and there are so many new exciting features that I will just want to share with you guys. Okay, so as an e-commerce seller and also a e-commerce coach, I use Canva majority for my e-commerce um, product listings, images, and also my social media posts and also for YouTube thumbnails. So come, let me share with you what is new that I found on Canva today. Okay, so this is the listing that I made today. And number one is the brand hub, okay, which all our brand uh, things that we store, that we use over and over again, is all in one brand hub. So for example, our template, our logos, okay, and our brand colors, our brand fonts, and all those that we use over and over again. So just from one click, you can just use it for our uh, our projects, okay? And the second thing that I discovered, okay, that is very uh, exciting, okay, let's say like uh, this, okay, let's create a new page. Okay, and then, uh, okay, let's make a new page. Okay, and let's put in the picture, let's say some kids. Okay, let's put some, let me see. Okay, let's put this picture and set it as background. Okay, so the new feature is the edit photo. Okay, and that's as usual, if you're a paid account, you have the background removal. What is the exciting thing that is new here is the magic eraser and also the magic edit. Okay, let's try one by one, okay? So, um, first, let's go to the magic eraser. Okay, let's say that you don't want this kit, okay? All you have to do is brush over the kit. We previously did not have it because once you press the remove background, it will remove the all the background. So but now with the magic eraser, it will take some time to uh, process the image. But let's see how well the magic eraser goes. Means that we can only, oh, okay, it's not that good. Okay, let's do it. Maybe you have to do it multiple times. Okay, one more time. Okay. Again, so uh, but it is a so much improvement from the previous just remove background because it can get rid of certain objects on your image. Ta da! Okay, so maybe you need two two times for you to let go. Okay, and another one which is the magic edit. Okay, magic edit. Okay, magic edit is new. Brush over where the image will be edited. Okay, let's brush it over. Okay, gently, and then we're going to remove, uh, we are change it to something else. Okay, what we're going to change. Okay, let's brush over it first. Okay, then we press continue. Okay, what we're going to get, uh, we can put, use AI to change the little void. Okay, let's change it to um, fill the space. Okay, let's change it to a, um, let's say a, Jumping kangaroo. Okay. Jumping kangaroo. Okay. Let's click generate. Okay. Can this change it to a jumping kangaroo? Okay. Okay. Let's da -da 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 and see what AI will produce for us. Okay. Do you think it's going to be good or not? Okay. We won't really know. Okay. Let's see what it comes out. Okay. The first one there are uh, kind of weird. What about this one? Is weird. This one is a bit weird, and this is a bit weird. Okay, or maybe you want to generate new results. Okay, let's generate new results. Okay, see what result it will come up. Okay, but now you know about AI. You really sometimes I don't really like it because there's the control is not there yet okay but some people have really good results okay how about this jumping kangaroos okay this is real bad this is bad okay let's just take this like this okay so now okay we have replaced the little boy with jumping kangaroos haha <laughs> okay so these are the new things and one more new thing that is quite exciting and very promising we have this draw tag 
that previously was not this design. Okay, and this we can actually choose the color. Okay, the sweeping and the thickness. Okay, and then we actually can draw. Okay, example like this. You don't like it, let's take the eraser and you can erase, it can do crayons or whatever that kind of thing. We can control with the dots, something like that. Okay, so previously drawing on Canva was not really well promoted because they are mainly not a drawing tool, but this is quite exciting for most people. Okay, so these are the things that are new in Canva and have you tried all this yet? And what are your thoughts all about this? Okay, I use it to, to design my e-commerce uh, listings. What do you use to use your Canva for?